Sometimes WordPress automatically adds a number in the URL of a page for a post, for example, hyphen two, hyphen three, or hyphen four. I'm Victor at Vimundo.com, and in this video, I'm going to explain why this number occurs and how you can remove it in three simple steps. In this first example, I've created a page called Marketing Team, and I want the URL to be mysite.com slash marketing hyphen team. Now, if I look to the right, I can see that the URL is actually marketing hyphen team hyphen two. And I don't think that looks professional, and it could potentially be bad for my SEO. So I want to remove the number two in the slug. So I'll click it, and I'll try to just remove it. And I'll close and I click update. But as you can see, the number two here bounces back. So why is this happening? The most likely reason is that there's another page, post, or even a media library item that is occupying the URL marketing hyphen team. And since you can't have duplicate URLs on a website, WordPress will automatically add a hyphen two if you try to add another page for post or media item with the same slug. So the first step in fixing this is to find what kind of content that is occupying the URL marketing team. So I'll click the URL and I'll go to the page with the hyphen two, my marketing team page. And now I'll simply go up to the address bar in my web browser. Um, and I will delete hyphen two in the address and I'll click enter. And now I can see that I'm on another page called my test page in this case. So in this example, that's the page occupying the URL marketing hyphen team. To make this URL available for my marketing team page, I have to change the URL on this page first. And this could look a bit different depending on what theme or page builder that you are using, but there's one way that looks the same in all WordPress setups. So I will choose that one by going to my WordPress dashboard. And from here, I'll click pages in this case, because it was a page that was occupying my URL. And from here, I will find the page. And in this case, it was my test page. And I will click quick edit. And here you can see that it uses the slug or the URL or the permalink marketing team. So to make this available for my other page, I have to rename this slug to something else. Maybe I can call it awesome marketing team. And I click update. So now if I click quick edit again, I can see that this page is now using the slug awesome marketing team. If you can't find any page or post or media item that's occupying the URL, it could be that it's hidden in the trash can. Because if you delete a page or post in WordPress, it will end up under trash. So to see your trashed pages in this example, I simply click the small trash link in the top of the pages list. And in here I have four trashed pages. So I can delete them one by one by hovering them where I can click the top checkbox to mark all of them. And I can click bulk actions and delete permanently and then click apply. Now they will be completely deleted from my website. And now you can try again to change the slug of your original page. The next step is to edit the slug for the marketing team page, the thing that I could not do before. So to do that, the easiest way is just to hover the page and click quick edit. Now we can see the slug saying marketing hyphen team hyphen two. And since this URL is now available, I can simply remove the hyphen two and I can click the blue update button. And now if I go to the page marketing team, I can see here that the URL is now marketing hyphen team without any unwanted numbers. And to make sure that everything worked as it should, I can click it and I can open the page in front end. And in the address bar in my web browser, I can see that it now says marketing hyphen team without any number. 
Now, don't forget to change any internal links to your old page that was called marketing-team before so that your visitors will land in the right place. In my next example, I've created a page called Our Projects and I want the URL to be slash our hyphen projects. But if I look here, I can see that the URL is now our hyphen projects too. So let's do the same investigation as we did before by heading over to this URL in frontend. And now if I delete to and the hyphen and click enter, you can see that I'm on a page repost here with an image and I have no recollection that I ever created this post. So the reason for this is that every time you upload a new media item in the media library, it could be an image, a PDF or a video or anything else, WordPress will automatically create a post like this with its own URL, which in this case is slash our projects. And the URL is based on the file name of the media item that you uploaded. So in this case, my image was called our-projects.jpg. And that means that WordPress automatically created this post with the URL our projects. If you are using an SEO plugin like Yoast or Rank Math, you might be redirected directly to this image when you enter the URL. But the fact remains, WordPress always creates these automatic posts for image files and other media objects. So what I have to do in this case to make the URL our projects available is to change the slug for this media post. And to do that, I'll head back to my WordPress dashboard and I'll go to media and uh, I'll have to find the image that's using the URL that I want to use for my page. And in this case, it's easy because it's the first one. If you have lots of images, I recommend that you use the search field to find it. That could save you a lot of time and scrolling. But here I have my image, so I'll click it. And now I'll go to edit more details. And here comes the tricky part, because this is a hidden feature in WordPress. There's no obvious place here to change this permalink here from our projects to something else. You can look forever, but you won't find it. So the secret location is up in the right corner where you have the screen options tab. Click that to expand it. And now you can activate screen elements like slug, the third one here in my settings. So I'll simply tick that checkbox. And now if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, we can see the slug of this image and we can also change it. So in this case, I might change it to our cool hyphen projects, just to name it something else. I'll scroll up and I click update to save. Now we can see that this image has a new permalink and that's our cool projects. And this should not be confused with the actual file URL, which you can find here. That will still be uploads something something and the file name so that's something different this permalink is for the post that wordpress automatically creates for all your media items now to change the url of my page for projects i'll simply go back to pages and i have our projects in here so i'll click quick edit and I can see that it uses the slug our projects too. And now I can simply delete hyphen two and I can click update. And now if I click the page our projects, I can see that it now is allowed to use the URL our hyphen projects. So I don't have any unwanted numbers there anymore. And just to make sure that it works, I will click it and I will click the URL to preview it in front end. And in my address bar in my web browser, I can see our hyphen projects without numbers. Now, since you change the permalink for the image or the media item, just make sure that all pages and posts that contains this media file still looks as it should. Otherwise, you have to reinsert the image or media file again on these pages and posts. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please leave a comment, like and subscribe, that would make me very happy. Until next time, take care.
Thank you.